Hi, this video show you how to apply one Kuta method to solve a first order differential equation numerically. This is the second example. Given a first order differential equation, y prime or dy dx equal to f of xy. If we are given when x equal to x naught, y is equal to y naught, and when xn plus 1 equal to xn plus h, then we can calculate the corresponding y. y sub n plus 1 is given by y sub n plus 1 over 6 times the sum of k1, 2k2, 2k3, and k4, where the value of k1, k2, k3, k4 are given by this complicated formula. The following example will illustrate the procedure. We are given that dy dx is equal to 3 times sine x minus y. And the value of y when x equals 0 is 1. Use the wrong quota method with step size h equal to 0 0.1 to find the value of y when x equal to 0 0.1. Correct to three decimal places. We shall identify the essential information. First, y prime is my dy dx here. f of xy is 3 sine x minus y. And x naught is 0. And y naught is 1. And we are going to find x1. That means that x0 is equal to 0, y0 is equal to 1, where h, the step size, is 0 0.1. So x1 equal to x0 plus h, which is 0 0.1. We are going to find out what is the corresponding y1. To find the value of y1, we are going to use this formula, which means that y1 equal to y0 plus 1 over 6 of k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4. So we must find out what is k1 first. k1 is equal to h times f of x and y n. That means k1 equal to h times f of x naught y naught. Then we substitute h is 0 0.1, x naught is equal to 0, y naught equal to 1, and so we have 0 0.1 times f of 0, 1. So, what is f of 0, 1? We know that f of x, y is 3 times sine x minus y. So, put x equal to 0, put y equal to 1, we get k1 equal to negative 0, 0.1. With the value of k1, equal to negative 0 0.1, we are now ready to find k2, which is equal to h times f of x0 plus h over 2, y0 plus k1 over 2. Now we substitute h equal to 0 0.1, and x0 plus h over 2 is equal to 0 plus 0 0.1 over 2, which is 0 0.05. To find y0 plus k1 over 2, we know that y0 is equal to 1, and k1 is equal to 
negative 0 0.1. So, why not plus k1 over 2 is equal to 1 plus negative 0 0.1 over 2, which is 0 0.95. Therefore, we are trying to find 0 0.1 times f of 0 0.05, 0 0.95. To evaluate f of 0 0.05, 0 0.95, we substitute x equal to 0 0.05, y equal to 0 0.95 into f of xy. Make sure that your calculator is in the radian mode. Then you get negative 0 0.080. So k2 now is equal to negative 0 0.08. Having the value of k1 and k2, we are now ready to find k3, which is equal to h times f of x0 plus h over 2, y0 plus k2 over 2. Substitute the value of h equal to 0 0.1, we find that x0 plus h over 2 is still 0 0.05, y not plus k2 over 2 is 0 0.96. So k3 is equal to 0 0.1 times f of 0 0.05, 0 0.96. Substitute the value of x, 0 0.05, and y, 0 0.96, into the expression of f of xy. Make sure that your calculator is in the radial mode. We have K3 equal to negative 0 0.081. Having known the value of K1, K2, and K3, we are now ready to find K4, which is equal to H times F of X0 plus H, Y0 plus K3. With H equal to 0 0.1, X0 plus H is equal to X0 plus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.1. And y not plus k3 is equal to 1 plus negative 0 0.081, which is 0 0.919. So k4 is equal to 0 0.1 times f of 0 0.1, 0 0.919. Put x equal to 0 0.1 and y equal to 0 0.919 into the expression of 3 sine x minus y. Make sure that the calculator is in the radial mode. Then we get k4 equal to negative 0 0.062. With the value of k1, k2, k3, and k4, we can find y1 using the formula. y1 is equal to y0 plus 1 over 6 times k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4, which we find that y1 is equal to 0 0.919 correct to 3 decimal place. Here is a calculator demonstration. First, make sure that the calculator is in radial mode. Shift, set up, fall for radial mode. Then, enter the formula for K1, which is H 0 0.1 times, open a bracket, 3 sine x sine alpha x close bracket minus alpha y close bracket. Now you press calculate for x equal to 0, for y equal to 1, and then you find that the value of k1 is negative 0 0.1 by pressing s to d to convert fraction to decimal. To find the value of k2, this time the value of x is x0 plus h over 2 which is 0 0.05. So you press calculate x equal to 0 0.05 equal and y equal to y0, which is 1 plus 
K1 and what two? K1 was the answer we obtained earlier divided by two. And this will give us K2 equal to negative 0 0.08. To find the answer for K3, press calculate again. X is still 0 0.05. Y is equal to Y0, which is 1, plus K2, which is in the answer earlier, divided by 2. And so, K3 is equal to negative 0 0.081. To calculate K4, press calculate again. This time, x equal to x0 plus h, which is 0 0.1. y is equal to y0 plus k3, which is equal to 1 plus answer. Answer was the k3 earlier, equal negative 0 0.0619, which is approximately negative 0 0.062 for k4. Then, you can calculate the y1. Enter the formula such as 1 plus a plus 2b plus 2c plus d over 6. And then press calculate. a, I'm going to put negative 0 0.1 for k1. b, I'm going to put negative 0 0.08 for k2. c, I'm going to put negative 0 0.08. 1 for K3, D I'm going to put negative 0 0.062 for K4, and then I'll find that my Y1 is 0 0.91933.